But I'm shocked. See, oh, I gotta be used to seeing my logo oh, on my faces, yeah. you know. But um, let me just start by saying, before I came to GCA in May, you couldn't hear me. I wouldn't speak. I was intimidated. I was nervous. I didn't know if I belonged. But when I got here and I saw how everybody was networking, as you say, shared information, I began to relax a little bit. And then uh, Miss Cynthia is the one that just shoved the microphone in front of me and said, say something. And I was sitting back there and I was like, no, no, no. She said, say something. She got something to say. So being placed on the spot, I had a lot to say that I was afraid to say because I didn't want to sound like I didn't know what I was talking about, which I did. So I just started coming. Each week I would come. They would invite awesome um, speakers in to tell us the do's and the don'ts and you know what we should avoid. This is my first time I'm taking the leap and an investment within myself, but I knew I had something that was needed. I knew three things that I was good at. I'm a medical assistant instructor that can teach you box of rocks, how to draw blood, and be a great <laughs> nurse. That's one thing. 98% of the students that I've taught have become certified. That's one thing that I'm very proud of. Two things. I'm an excellent CPR instructor um, with my teaching CPR to other stu uh, students. Um, one person was um, assisting someone to deliver a baby. The next person saved someone's life by knowing how to massage the muscles from a patient having a stroke. And then the third thing that I came here and I learned how to speak, I found my myself, I found my voice. But it didn't come until when I joined the master's class. Um, it had already begun and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something. But to make a long story short, Miss Myron, when I say this lady has the patience that we need, <laughs> she didn't make me feel like one question was a stupid question. She was, she let me know that um, if I needed that extra one on one, because a lot of times we don't speak out because we don't want it to be known that we don't know. But I went under her leadership, and I'm so glad that I have that I did because I joined in May and. As of August, um, August the 23rd, I got the okay to start the Messiah for Life uh, Phlebotomy School. September the 4th, I got my certification congratulatory letter from Martyr, then the certified and uh, DBE as well. Just a plethora of things has just started opening since I joined GCA. And when, the, when you know, asked to speak, this is not enough that I can say, but I did want her to know, you know, I am very appreciative, I'm very grateful for the kindness, for the, um, the respect, you know, that they have shown us. And actually to take someone under your wing and let you know we're here. And that's what I got. Um, I did get a chance to meet some great, great people. You know, and this is my opportunity just to give back. So I'm in the process of uh, obtaining contracts, but at least I know what I can ask. I know how to speak their language, language now a little bit more than I did three months ago. You know, so with that, they gave me a lot of courage, a lot of hope, and it does me good to hear that I'm coming to a facility where people are still winning contracts. So that's what I have to say.